A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahad Kakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, and it is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yeraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is going to be, I'm yet to decide what title it is, but it's going to be based on the powers that be, the leaders, the celebrity, they are all part of the game. Now, if you don't understand that, you know, your president, your prime ministers, you know, they are all part of the system and this system is actually run by Satan himself, okay? Because Satan actually is an angel of the Most High. He does the will of the Most High, but he works on the left hand of the Most High. The Most High has a perfect balance, okay? He does evil, he does good, he has good angels and he has evil angels. If you don't understand this concept, then you're always going to be scared just like the Christians are all scared. These Christians are not scared of the Most High because they believe the Most High does good all the time. They are rather scared of Satan, you know? And this is hypocrisy, man. This is madness, you know? That's why, you know, your so-called Christians, you know, that are still going to churches, these people, they, they, are, they, they actually lack understanding. The Most High has actually made them blind not to see this truth. Because if you go read the book of Job, you know, the book of Job tells you how all these angels are actually under the service of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They do the will of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They don't, they don't go against the Most High, okay? Just like, um, just like um, the churches, they tell you, you know? They tell you that there was a rebellion in heaven and all of a sudden, what happened? Um, the, 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 the angels started going against the Most High, they followed Satan and all that. That's all fables and, um, and myths, okay? And we're meant to stay away from that with the book of First Timothy, you know? Now, to bring out a precept regarding the angels doing the will, I already said this is not actually the lesson I want to do, but, you know, just for edification's sake, for maybe someone who's watching this video for the first time and is a little bit um, shook, shook, or what's the word I'm looking for, by the word I just said. Satan is actually an angel doing the will of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And then we have certain people who prefer to follow Satan instead of following the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Now you should go read the book of um, you should go read the book of Job. Okay, I wouldn't go there for time's sake. I think the second chapter, also the third chapter, tells you even the first chapter. It tells it tells you the conversation of how the Most High had a conversation, okay, with Satan, and Satan being under the control of the Most High. Then if you read the book of, um, is it first or second Kings, you know, how the Most High sends, you know, his angel to, to um, some, um, some what's, what's the word I'm looking for? How the Most High sends a lying spirit, oh, okay? Angels to go um, put lies in the mouth of certain prophets. You know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai controls all these things and they are under his will, okay? So when the church tells you that, you know, there, there was a rebellion in heaven and all that thing, it's all BS, man. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Ratazah, I might do a lesson on this on this issue because that's one of the, the, the big tricks that they, they, they teach you in, in church that, you know, there was once a rebellion um, in heaven and, you know, Satan and his angels fought against the Most High, you know. That's all lies, you know. That's all foolish. Um, what's the... What's the word I'm looking for? That's all foolish um, foolish doctrine that you need to stay away from, okay? Now, just please bear with me. I'm looking for a precept, you know, to back. 
Well, there are lots of precepts that tell you that the angels, you know, they do the will of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yom Shai. Um, now, let me let me quickly get the book of um. Let me get the book of um Psalm Psalms. Psalms 103 because these are basic and fundamental um, things about this doctrine that you need to know because once you know that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai has control of everything you would not fear anybody you would not fear anything but you will fear only the Most High Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai okay now that's what makes a difference between us and the rest of all these blind people walking around you know they're scared of Satan rather than the Most High. Um, Khan, this is the book of Psalm 103, verse 20. It says, Bless Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his words. You see? It says, Bless be ye Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Okay? These angels, they all do the will of the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. And guess what? Satan is also an angel. Okay? Now, just like I said, you can go read the conversation between the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai and Satan. Okay? Um, is it? Chapter 1. Let's try. Can. You can read the book of Job chapter 1 verse, you can, you can start from verse 6 all the way down. It tells you the conversation the most I had with Satan. So why didn't they fight against themselves and, you know, because Satan is an angel of the most I Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and it does his will. Now, why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this to let you know that the powers that be, they are actually worshipping Satan. Okay, they don't worship the most high power of, of, of the Bible. They don't worship Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, but they worship Satan, who is an angel of the most high. And the most high gave them unto that delusion. And these people are the ones running the world today. Okay, they have the power to put anyone in position. Okay, all your, your so called celebrities, they are all under the hands of Satan. Okay, because um, this kingdom right right now that we, we actually live in, you know, is, is actually run by Esau Edom. And Esau Edom is the wicked. Go read the book of Malachi, the first chapter, the fourth verse, it tells you, you know. Now, this is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And the true judges... Are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latino, and the Israelites that are spread all around the world, looking like different nations where they find themselves. The Israelites are the true judges of the earth. But ever since Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you know, came into power through um, Alexander the Great, you know, evil has multiplied on the earth. And the earth is actually given into the hands of the wicked, you know. So he does what he wants because this is that short period that he must rule. Okay. Now I'm going to get to the point. The reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, the next step, what they are actually planning to do is to tag you electronically. Okay. I wouldn't say too much on it. And that's what's written. You should go read the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter from the 16th verse down. You understand what I'm saying? And that thing looks like a grain of rice that's going to be inserted under your skin. That's the next step. And guess what? They're going to use your favorite celebrity, your favorite musician, rappers, you know, sports man, you know, sports female and all that thing. And your favorite president, your favorite politician, they're going to use these people to push this agenda. Because we're actually living in a generation where, you know, the majority of the people don't think for themselves they don't have that understanding they lack understanding we're living in gross darkness and darkness represents ignorance people are scared of satan 
but not scared of the most high because the most high um because um the so-called white man tells you that the most high never does any evil is always good you know in which the bible says differently you know the most high kills he he makes alive he does everything the most high does all these things you know if there is a death it's the most high that did it you know if there is life it's the most high that did it okay this is the book of first samuel chapter 2 oh no is it can this is the first book of first samuel chapter 2 it says yeah how i kill it and make it alive it bring it down to the grave and bring it up it make it poor it make it rich it bring it low and lift it the most high yeah how about shem yahushai does all things satan is an angel on his left hand side okay if the most High needs to do evil or he needs to do anything bad he uses satan okay and satan is under his service he never rebelled against the most High, just like the churches tell you you know and all these your celebrities they are all working for satan because the most High has given them onto that delusion they think satan actually rules the world but they don't know satan is ruling the world for the most high you know the most High wants it to be like that for this short season and judgment is coming you know now let me give you an example of how of how esau the so-called white man in power how he puts people in position of power you know all your so-called prime ministers your presidents and all these people they are all doing the will of the banking families that are in power today okay those banking families that you don't see you know they're just right behind the door you know they don't reveal themselves you know but they own everything man they own you they own your your birth certificates and everything you know these people they put in your presidents they put in your prime ministers they put in all the people that you see that are ruling this kingdom today you know they put them into power and they decide when to take them off, when to put them down, when to put them in. Even Putin, even um, even um, all the people that you see running the earth today, they are all under the power of Esau. Okay? Then what does the Most High do? The Most High puts different thoughts in the hearts of these kings. The Most High makes them sometimes to rebel against the so-called white man that's in power. It's the Most High doing all these things. You know but don't get it wrong that these people they're actually in such positions because the the, the so-called white man has kept them in those positions they are not actually there to do your will to make your life better no they are doing the will of the so-called white man esau edom okay now this is the book of second um second kings um chapter 23 i'll start from verse 34 it says and Pharaoh Nicole made Eliakim, son of Josiah, king in the room of Josiah, his father, and returned his name to Jehoiakim, and took Jehoaz away, and he came to Egypt there, uh, and died there. Okay? So you see, this is the king of Egypt, who's, this was the king of Egypt, you know, that took hold on the sons of Israel. The sons of Israel fell, you know? You know? And what did they do? They chose their own puppet leader and they kept their puppet leader over Israel. So all these your your black power movements, your 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 whatever movements, you know, they are all under the power of Esau Edom. Just like um what do you call him? Um, um Martin Luther King, you know. Um, Jai Mohammed and all those people, man, they are all being instruments in the so called hands of Esau Edom to divert your attention to what's not really where the problem is, you know. Verse 35 says, And Jehoiakim gave the silver and gold to Pharaoh, but he taxed the land to give the money according to the commandments of Pharaoh. He exalted the silver, he exacted the silver and the gold of the people of the land. Of everyone according to his taxation to give it unto Pharaoh Nicole. Okay? So you see, 
and verse 37 says and he did that which was evil in the sight of yahweh bahashem yahushai according to all that his fathers had done why because it was a puppet of uh, of the enemies actually you know the enemies kept him in power so he was a puppet to them so he taxed the people you know just like when you go to nigeria all these african nations you know they have different presidents you know if the if the so-called white man does not approve of your presidents of your governors of your prime ministers you know if they're not doing his will there is no way you can be in power if you make your if you make your way to power it's going to kill you and destroy you just like thomas sankara just like um lumumba and many other people you know i don't know if i mentioned that right that name right that's that's um was it was it what's what's his name well i can't really remember you know the group of um thomas sankara let's say you know these people got into power and they, they tried to put away the so-called white man and what happened so-called white man struck them down you know he killed them so the people that are, that you see that are ruling these different nations right now why do you think that now that there is this huge conflict in um russia and ukraine and um and Finland shares border with Russia, you know, and things are really heating up. Do you think it's the right time that those people should decide that they want to join and make side, take sides with NATO? And once they join and take side with NATO, what does it mean? It means they're going to have a base close to Russia and that's going to be a threat to Russia. Do you think all these things are just happening like that because, you know, they, they feel Russia is the bad and no, it's because... The powers that be in those countries are puppets under the hands of Esau. They're doing Esau's will, you know? And if you think they want to make peace and all that thing, just like they tell you in the news, oh, we're, we're making preparations for peace talk and all peace. No, they don't, they don't need that peace, man. They need all hell to break loose, you know, so they can push their agenda. M-O-T-B. Go read the book of Revelation 13, 16, all the way down again. You know, that's their agenda and it's coming. It's right at the door. So you see, those people are all doing the will of Esau, the so-called white man in power, the banking families, you know, and Esau is doing the will of Satan. Okay. Because he is the child of Satan. And we, the sons of Israel that are sincerely doing this, this truth, walking in this truth, we are the sons of Yahweh Shai, who is the son of the most high Yahweh, you know? So you see, and Yahweh Shai is on the right hand side of the Most High Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is, is, is the one at the right hand side. If the Most High needs to do things that are right, you know, with the righteous people, they go, that goes through Yahweh Shai. But if he needs to do things that are evil, it goes through Satan. Okay? So your celebrities, they are all part of this game. And they're going to be used as instruments against you in the times that are coming okay because this is a really foolish generation this generation you know they imitate what they see you know now sometimes you know if i if i go out or maybe I'm, I'm i'm at the plantation you know doing some driving or whatever you know i see the school students coming out all dressed like the same way man they have this, the same kind of same tribe kind of swag man why because there is one there is some um celebrities that are pushing that kind of dressing you know the celebrities they push the um the alphabet agenda the lgbt and all that thing they push that agenda and all the people are mad drunk off that thing man even today at the plantation you know moving around i saw two young little girls man kissing to get kissing man i was like what's wrong with these people why because they are their favorite celebrities are, are saying those things are okay to do and they do it you know for we are not ignorant men we're not walking in darkness that that day should catch us on our way that's why you always need to pray you always need to stay focused no matter what the situation be stay focused don't be distracted because esau is doing a lot of distraction okay lots of things are happening which are distraction which uh all these things are shifting your your mind from what's really about to come it's going to be a winter like never before if we're going to make it to that winter okay farming starvation 
uprisings, killings, you know, it's going to be madness, madness out there. And if you don't have the most high Yahweh Bashim Shai, sorry for you, man, you know. Now let's get one last scripture because, you know, even our people, they're all part of this game, man. The so-called Hebrew Israelites um, celebrities, you know, they're all part of this game, you know. They're just hiding under the cloak of... Now, this is the book of 1 Maccabees, the first chapter, I'll start from verse 11. It says, In those days went they out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the hidden that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrows. Because what many of our brothers, they believe is righteousness is boring, man. They think walking in righteousness, following the will of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is boring. So they decide to take the way of the, of, of the wicked ones, Esau, Edom, you know, and live in all their lawlessness. This part, <laughs> this part is not boring, man. If you come into this truth at the beginning, it's, it's not easy. It's going to be hard. But, you know, the more you grow in this truth, the more you get disgusted by that life. And you see how mad and, and disgusting that life you were living was before, you know. And it says, so this device pleased them well because they, do, they, they are quick to do evil and slow to do good. This is the nature of our people. Then certain of the people were so forward hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the hidden. Just like today, you know, many of our people are making different kinds of appeals to the United Nations, to Esau or whatever, legalize the, the agenda, legalize the LGBTQ and all that thing, legalize the alphabet agenda. You know, in Africa, places where they had different kinds of traditions and morals, these people are now crying for these powers that be to help them legalize these agendas, you know? Like, for example, Nigeria. This is something that, you know, you, you get put to death for such things in Nigeria. But we, now we have, they have a voice. People are, 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 are fighting, you know, for the rights of these people, this alphabet people, alphabet gang, you know, the, the LG and all that thing, you know. The alphabet gang. People are fighting for their rights now, you know. And Esau is giving them the license to go on to do those things. So, I'm going to stop here. All these people are all sold out. They're doing the will of Satan. And they're going to be used very, very instrumental in the times that we're coming in. So pay attention. Pray always. And stick to this faith, man. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Until the next one. Shalom.